Kids would often kind of um, use stencils or use potato prints. They're all kind of part of the printmaking process, okay? But what we do in DIT is it's a bit more sophisticated, so we've lots of different kind of processes that we use. So has anyone heard of etching before? No? Okay. So it's about five or six hundred years old and it was practiced by some of the most famous artists in art history. So these, these, this work is portfolio prints that I brought up is what I would teach first years when they come in. So um, when you're in sixth year, some students want to go on to study fine arts, so they make the portfolio and they submit it. So instead of going to school and doing lots of different subjects during the day, what you're doing for your four years is just concentrating on art. So that's kind of, it's kind of amazing that you can just study that for four years if you're interested in that. This is, this is actually uh, second year, so this is the first semester. Uh, semester of second year, and this. Were all these people in the same group? Um, all these guys would be first year, so maybe just a couple of years older than you guys. Um, mm. Not, you know, some of them are coming straight from school, yeah. so like 18, 17, 18. And what are you? What are you doing them completely on their own, or did you help them? Well, I showed them how to do it, yeah. and I showed them the different um, ways to get a better effect. Yeah. And um, but most of the time they're doing it themselves. They're coming up with ideas themselves. So the students are really trying to make. They're trying to deal with ideas in lots of different ways and they're using printmaking to do that. This gives us, this is an old plate that I've just kind of tested with students, but this is what you draw into the plate. This scribe removes the wax from it, okay? And you draw with the scribe, you don't draw with the pencil, you draw with the scribe. You can see that scrapey noise is very, very characteristic of the etching process, okay? Put this plate into a bath of acid, nitric acid, okay? And the nitric acid, eats into the line that you've drawn and it doesn't eat anywhere else. So it doesn't, the, the wax protects the rest of the plate and it just etches in there. So you don't need to dig out the drawing because the acid will do the work for you. Okay? And then you take the plate out after about an hour and you clean off the wax with white spirits and you're left with this drawing. Okay. And then this drawing, you put ink into this drawing. And the ink, will, if you leave it there for long enough, it will dry. Yeah. But you don't want it to dry because you want it to print it on paper, yeah. right? So you start to get your paper, and then you can make a series of prints from the plate. Yeah. So that's what these guys have done. But then they got better and better. Just pass the torch down. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah. You like the fine one? Uh, yeah, it's really Yeah. 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 So if you draw your guy here, make one of those if you draw. I'm never on the wood, actually. 
So this nitric acid, it's a clear, it's a clear colourless liquid, and when we put our plates in the up exposed areas with steel, it's going to put the acid in the ground. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That is the plate is just starting to rust because of what's going on Okay, so this is our first proof that we're going to take. Usually people will go in the left hand side. Change the gloves over. Oh, I didn't even know what it was doing. Okay, take a sneaky peek. Yes. There we go. Get all the Pretty nice. Put it on the rack. What rack? Rack down there. It's good. It's great. The entire view will be scraped. Brilliant. Oh, there's two more to go. Alright, uh, <laughs> 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 I like a goalpost. We're missing one, though. Come on, move the goalpost. Yes, of course.